Hey, is it possible somebody bought a gallon of milk only to find out there was a dead snake inside? Or is this just somebody trying to play with our minds? I've got the answer to that serpentine dairy mystery, plus answers on a couple other puzzlers that got you guys scratching your heads. Like this picture that claims this dog really does have a human looking face. A video that wants us to believe this man can break rocks with his bare hands. And this picture that claims a rock is moving across the desert all on its own. I've got all that plus my favorite fake of the week. So wake up and get ready to test your brains in the real or fake zone. Hey guys, Bill here. As you probably already know, there are tons of photos out there showing food with, um, how do we say, unexpected little surprises. No doubt you've heard about the chicken head found in a box of fast food chicken wings or the frog found in frozen veggies. But this one might be a new one for you. A milk jug that was discovered to have a snake inside of it. How creepy is that? The picture was sent in by Daisy Cream, who just wrote, Bill, please tell me this isn't real. Daisy, I wish I could tell you it was not real right off the bat, but unfortunately, you never can tell with these kind of things, so better take a closer look. Taking a closer look at the picture, we see what looks like a regular jug of milk, except for a patchwork of dark areas. If we look closer, we can see the skin patterns of a snake, most likely a constrictor of some kind. Along the bottom, the snake is curled around the container, and at the top, we see what looks like the head of the snake. Hmm, I'm not so sure about this one, because, you know, if we use the old logic filter, it's like, how would a snake actually get into the dairy system to get in that jug in the first place? I mean, was the dairy farmer also a snake collector and he wasn't paying attention? Or maybe somebody actually put it in there on purpose, like, you know, a disgruntled employee or somebody with a rather creepy sense of humor. <laughs> All right, so I'll tell you what, what do you say we just go ahead and take a vote on this one? Now, if you think that's a real snake that got into a jug of milk, no matter how it got in there, maybe somebody put it in there, maybe it got in there by accident, doesn't matter how it got in there. If you think it's real, then Let's vote real, okay? Now, if on the other hand, you think somebody created this thing in uh, like, you know, a computer program or, you know, made it out of digital nothingness, then let's vote fake, okay? And as usual, if you don't think we really came up with an answer, you can always just mark unknown, okay? So go ahead and vote up here. If that doesn't work, you can always leave your answer down in the comment section. And if you can't make either one of those work, then you can just go ahead and shout it out. You ready? And Go. Hey, while everybody's making up their mind and voting, what do you say we take a look at my favorite reel of the week? Bot Gamer sent this video of a diver petting a fish. Bot was more interested in knowing if that's the real face of the fish. Thanks to my many super sleuths on Facebook, we now know that it is a real fish and it's called a puffer fish. And yes, that's its real face too. Okay, now that we know some fish actually like to get petted, what do you say we get back to our poor snake here who somehow got into a gallon of milk? Or to put it another way, some poor Photoshopper who has nothing else better to do with his life than spend a week coming up with a milk snake. But you know, now I think about it, there is such a species as a milk snake, it kinda looks like this. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Because I want this to be fake, because I know if I was in a store and I picked up a jug of milk and suddenly saw that snake inside of it like that, I'd be like this guy. You know he does that on purpose, right? And the thing I always wondered about this guy is, does he actually pay for that stuff? He smashes on the floor? I don't know, man. YouTube does strange things to people. Uh, oh, okay, well, and the official answer is, thank the Lord, fake. As it turns out, this whole thing was cooked up in a Photoshop contest. 
The contest theme was, quote, obvious tampering, unquote, and was originally launched and managed by the image manipulation and contest website worth1000.com, which is now owned by Design Crowd. The image was created by an artist named Microfracture. Microfracture didn't actually win this contest, but the photo kind of escaped the contest corral. It got out on the internet and, well, fooled a lot of people. It eventually got picked up by the satire website Freaking News and given a fresh look. And speaking of milk, what demented mind came up with this? Next up is this video that, well, uh, actually kind of describes itself. The video was submitted by Aya and her husband. Aya wrote, would you please tell us if this video is real or fake so we can settle our family debate? Okay, Aya, as I told you, this is not an easy one. Looking out across the YouTubeoverse, you can see there's a whole bunch of these videos. And the problem is that these martial arts stunts are really easy to fake. I did some backtracking on this particular video you sent, and it led me to a YouTube channel called Kung Fu TV. Now, as you can see, there are only a few videos on this channel, but all of them have this same guy. Now, the bad news is neither the videos or the channel itself give us any information about who this guy is or who's making the video. Shot. I decided to take a closer look at the video itself. It's called Kung Fu Show. Chinese man has steel arms and legs, break hard objects. Let's take a look. Okay, well, to be honest, you know, I just didn't come up with enough information on my own to give you a solid answer, but you know how it works here at Bill's channel. When the going gets tough, Bill turns to the A-team, which in this case happens to be my research team over on Facebook, as well as my peeps over here on the community page on YouTube. And thanks to all these people, I was able to come up with this, the official answer. Now, here's the deal. If you watch this show regularly, you know I cannot tell you what's going on in here until you tell me what you got going on up there, okay? So go ahead and leave me a vote up there, leave me an answer down in the comment section, or just shout it out, and I'll be back in just a second with the answer. Okay, so are you ready for the official answer on Mr. Kung Fu Man? Is he the real deal or is he just some kind of movie actor or something? Let's see what we got here. And the official answer is... Wow! Real! Our first big break on this came from Luan Ashton Borlangan on Facebook and followed up by many others. Luan was the first one to identify the Kung Fu guy as Zhang Shizu. As it turns out, Zhang is actually a martial arts student from Northern China and goes by the nickname Iron Hands. His rock and brick breaking prowess have been reported by many news outlets, including Yahoo News and People's Daily. Here's an interview with him recorded in China. This hand, how did now, I admit, just because Zhang made it onto broadcast news doesn't mean he's actually legitimately breaking that stuff for real. But one thing that is real is the effect on all this has had on his hands. As you can see here, they are heavily calloused, look very red, and very beaten up. Next up is this picture. It was sent in by Nathan, who is very suspicious about how this dog has a very human-looking face. Nathan wrote, could this be real or fake? Nathan, I don't know what's going on, but we seem to be having a run on animals with human-looking faces lately. Remember the fish with the human face we did a while back? And how about the one we just showed? Now, both of those are real. But then we have the fake pictures of animals that have human-like faces, too. Like this one, this one, and even this one. 
all of them fake. But what about this picture? Does this dog really have that human look to his face? Or did somebody mess with this picture in their favorite photo editing software? I don't know, this one could go either way very easily. So I'll tell you what, take another look at the picture, then go ahead and leave me your votes up here. Answer us down in the comment section, or just shout it out. I'm gonna get out this, and we're gonna find out whether that dog is a real dog or just a BFF. And you know what that means, right? No, not best friends forever. I changed it. BFF now means big, fat, fake. All right, let's see if we got a BFF here. Or, oh, okay. Um, the official answer is, are you ready? I hope you got it right because it might be a little bit unexpected because the official answer is real. Thanks to Julie Frost, who was the first one on my Facebook team to identify this dog, we now know his name is Yogi, and yes, he really does look exactly like that. Yogi is a cross between a Shih Tzu and a Poodle. Owner Chantel Desjardins posted this picture to her Facebook and told both BuzzFeed and NBC News that the photo is not edited in any way. Our last picture today comes with a fantastic story. It claims to show a rock that has been moving all by itself across a desert. The picture was sent in by Carla who just wrote, Bill, is this for real or some kind of joke? Carla, the last time I checked, rocks do not move on their own, unless they come from some kind of weird science fiction literature or some kind of movie like Frozen. Now, the rock we see here doesn't look like anything other than your everyday run-of-the-mill rock, which means it doesn't breathe, it doesn't eat, and most certainly doesn't just get up and go out for a walk. Okay, so what's the deal with this rock? I mean, is this thing moving around by itself or maybe some humans or other creatures are kind of helping it down the rosy path a little bit? Or even better, maybe somebody just saw the rock and then they dug a little trench behind it to make people think it's been moving around. A lot of pranksters out there. Tell you what, be careful with this one. It could be tricky. So go ahead and leave me your votes up here. Answers down in the comment section or shout it out. I'm gonna get out this and we are gonna get down to the rock hard truth right away. So we can get on to my favorite fake of the week. Uh, but this one, uh, oh wow, guess what? It's real. Mr. Rock here comes from Death Valley, California, and turns out to be just one of many rocks that has been moving around in this area. They call them sailing rocks, and they have been one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in Death Valley for a long time. They just seem to move around on their own for no reason and have kept scientists very busy trying to figure out what's going on. But hey, guess what? The mystery has now finally been solved. Geologist Richard Norris and his cousin Jim Norris were the first to actually record the stones moving. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, Richard explains the rocks move when rains fall during the winter and turns into ice. When that ice starts to melt, it can be moved in big sheets by wind. And it's these moving sheets of ice that can actually push the rocks and make them move. Now later, when the water from the melting ice evaporates, the only thing that's left is the rock and the trail behind it. All right, well, that's all the time I have for this video, but don't go away just yet. I still gotta show you my favorite fake of the week. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. And now for my favorite fake of the week. This video sent in by Etzo claims to show a stunt where 2,000 drones are used to lift a big truck. Etzo, that would be a really cool trick if you could really make it happen, but it didn't really happen in this particular case. In reality, this is part of a ad campaign from a company that makes the truck. The company's name is Scania Group. So in the end, you can see those drones flying that truck is nothing more than, say it with me, so, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny! funny.
Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.